the holy eve of Christmas 2018, and on the blessed day itself, our most beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai read from the Buddhist scripture, the Surangama Sutra, for the spiritual benefit of our association members who had gathered from all over the world in Taiwan, also known as Formosa. In speaking of Ananda, one of Shakyamuni Buddha's, the world honored one's devoted disciples, Master explained the reason why he became fully enlightened only after Buddha passed away. It's not because uh, Ananda was slower or less spiritual. It's just his destiny to serve the Buddha first and to try to remember everything the Buddha said in the assembly or whatever happened in the assembly. So somebody has to write it down or memorize it all. Ananda was, that was his job. If he became Buddha too quickly, maybe he could not do this, yeah? Because he will lose his intellectual power, memory. So he has to continue to be so-called a little ignorant until after Buddha passed away. After Buddha passed away, he became enlightened immediately and became a hut. On Christmas Day, as promised by Master at a recent international gathering, she read from the Surangama Sutra and explained about the many kinds of demons and how to avoid being tempted by them. Very easily, we can fall into the bad influence of the demon. And the demon originally cannot go near if we always can repeat the five protective holy names. The Buddha tell you what kind of demons are always lurking around true practitioners trying to lead him astray if you allow him by your thought. If you think something, if you want something, if you delude yourself for example, by thinking that you're complete enlightened already, or pronounce that, then such and such demon will come, okay? Now we will see which demon come to who <laughs> and why and how we can avoid it. So it's very important for you, even if you're not Buddhist. Following the enlightening discourses, our beloved master inaugurated the new place in Taiwan, Formosa, with a ribbon cutting ceremony. This was then followed by a blissful entertainment program with diverse and heartwarming cultural performances by our association members in celebration of Christmas. grateful to all the performers for sharing their talents and providing us with much joy. Our association members felt deeply blessed to experience the jubilant festivities in the presence of our beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai. With profound gratitude for your everlasting love and patience, Master, may we truly honor all that you have done and are doing for us by always practicing our meditation diligently and progressing quickly. 
For the full broadcast of these lectures and wondrous occasion with Supreme Master Ching Hai, please tune in to Between Master and Disciples and Enlightening Entertainment, respectively, at later dates. On Sunday, December the 30th, 2018, our beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai delivered another illuminating discourse to our International Association members at the Sihu Ashram in Taiwan, also known as Formosa. Before continuing reading from the Buddhist scripture, the Surangama Sutra, Master advised us to adjust our speech, to always use positive words. And by the way, uh, we are all very habitual in speaking in negative terms. From today, from now on, you try to speak positively. Mm. You saw some of our programs showing the Japanese scientists you just tap some negative word even on the glass of water and that water become murky. It's all determined by you. You can, you will. Okay? Just say will do like that or something positive. Not even say no problem. <laughs> it's a problem because the word imprints in your mind is a world problem. You see? Master then read to us about the spiritual practitioner who, even in Samadhi, became possessed and deluded by a demon. Within his Samadhi, his mind still craves spiritual powers and all manners of transformations. So he investigates the source of transformations as he greedily seeks for spiritual powers. It will come to you as you meditate, as you elevate yourself step by step to a dimension of better spiritual attainment. So do not seek, okay? At that time, because he's, he's so greedily and desirously wanting these spiritual powers of all sorts. So at that time, a demon from the heavens sees the opportunity it has been waiting for. This person, truly unaware that he is possessed by a demon. So he claimed that he has reached unsurpassed nirvana, meaning he is a Buddha already. The demon makes you think like that, because too much ambition, having the habit in the world to have ambition, to want this, to achieve that, to be a big shot, to be famous, to be worshipped, to be believed in. Just natural habit, yeah? So even when you are in such a high state of samadhi, the mind is still bothering you. So the mind, the ego, is our worst enemies. In this lifetime, only the light and sound method, the inner heaven light and sound method, are the ones secure you liberation. If you practice hard at it and listen to the Master teaching, and adhere to your faith, okay? Do not go astray. Our deep gratitude to Master for her endless love and concern for us, always teaching us how to be better Kuan Yin practitioners. In heaven's everlasting benevolence, may 2019 be the year of extensive spiritual evolution in our world. For the full broadcast of this lecture with Supreme Master Ching Hai, please tune in to Between Master and Disciples at a later date. <laughs>